Hello friends, good morning and welcome to the channel. Today in this video, I will quickly show you how to get Azure AD token from Postman. If you want to get the access token from Azure AD for any particular application, how you can use Postman tool to get that. Okay, now without any delay, what we will do, we will just open the Postman app and I will show you how to get that particular value there. So let me open the Postman app. So you can able to see this is the Postman app. So what, what you need to do, I have written few things in the notepad, the parameters and all that is needed here. So basically this is the URL you have to mention like this. You can able to see it here. This is login.microsoftonline.com and this is my tenant ID. Okay, just ensure to replace this tenant ID as per yours. Okay, and then slash OAuth2 slash token. Okay, so this will be the URL and ensure you, you choose here the gate option. And then what you need to do in the parameters tab, we have to provide the key as content hyphen type. I will just go to the notepad again. So here you need to specify the key as content hyphen type and the value as the value I mentioned here, right? Application hyphen x this value. I'll just put it here. Now this is the parameter tab. Now the next thing is we need to specify in the body tab. I will just click on the body and ensure to choose this option form hyphen data. Okay. So here we have to specify some key value parameters. I will tell you those. The first thing is we have to specify grant type underscore type as a client underscore credentials. And uh, the second parameter is I will just specify the client ID. This is the app client id i will just show you also from where you will get these values let me first execute this okay and uh, this is my application client id and then the client secret value right i will just copy this client secret And we need to specify the resource. Resource, I will just copy. You can able to see these are the parameters we need for this body tab. And ensure to select this form hyphen data. Okay. So these are the things we need. Now, if I'll click on this send button can able to see we got the expected output this is the access token that we got okay now now how you will get these values right this client id client secret everything i will just tell you i will just go to the azure portal let me open the portal you can able to see this is my azure portal where i have already logged in into here you can just go to the microsoft enter id where you need to click on the app registration and he, these are all the applications that that are registered right so if i'll go here new ada app so this is the application you can able to see in bracket client id so this is the id that i have copied here right 
as the client id you can able to see this is the client id okay and the client secret is this one okay now how to get that if you'll go here certificate and uh, secrets on the same application you can able to see this is the uh, secret value for me so remember this is the value not the secret id this is only the value that you have to copy and once it will generate it immediately you can able to see this value so you can copy this value and uh, you can keep it in a notepad okay because you can able to see here it is clearly telling client secret values cannot be so client secret values cannot be viewed except for immediately after creation be sure to save the secret when created before leaving the page okay now if you want you can create just one more secret you clicking on the new secret okay if i will click on the new secret i will give a a name now and uh, you need to choose the expiry over here and uh, you can minimum choose six month which is recommended but you can select other options as well right click on the add and uh, you can able to see now i can immediately see this value just click on the copy to clipboard button next to this value and you can save this and you can use that particular value as the parameter in the postman app as we have used it right in the secret here this value okay because if i leave this page now i won't able to see this particular value and sure to copy this value not the secret id not this one okay this so this is how you can get azure ad token or the access token uh, from postman itself you can utilize postman to retrieve these values so that's it for today i thought to quickly show you how you can get the azure ad token value for a new particular application using the postman app and these are the steps you can follow to do that thanks a lot for watching this video if you found this video a little helpful for you kindly subscribe to our channel so that you will get lots of free azure tips helpful as your power cell commands as well as helpful as your cli commands thanks a lot and have a nice day bye bye